And well, of course, right now, airports across the country are gearing up for the busy Christmas travel rush. They say it begins officially tomorrow and Christmas, of course, now just five days away. All right. Tens of millions set to hit the skies, the roads, the rails and this year, transportation officials hoping key changes will help avoid the chaos after the last holiday season's travel meltdown. News 4's Joseph Olmo joins us now live from Reagan National Airport with what? We need to know this morning. Yes, Joseph, looking real tight right behind you there. What's going on? You know, we were going to start off by talking about the top destinations domestic and internationally for this holiday season. But I just want to take this moment to remind our News 4 viewers, this is what Reagan National Airport looks like at 6.02 in the morning uh, on a Wednesday. OK, if it looks like this at 6 o'clock in the morning, imagine what it could look like in the afternoon rush, 3, 4, 5 p.m. Give yourself as much time as possible when you are at the airport. Now let's talk about those top destinations. AAA, they have a list every year where people are headed because everybody behind me has a destination to get to uh, domestically uh, at the very top of their list Anaheim California Orlando Florida and Chicago for those holiday destinations and then internationally we are told London St. Thomas and Aruba all those places sound pretty good right now instead of waiting in a long line behind me okay other things that you need to know it is going to be a busy busy holiday travel season on air or in the air at sea and on land 115 million Americans are expected to travel 50 miles or more away from their home over the next couple of days. If you are driving, looking like at least here in the DMV, next Friday the 29th will be the most congested day to drive, especially in the afternoon. And back out here live, if you are somebody who is flying just yesterday, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg was in this airport talking about the fact that cancellation numbers are the lowest they've been in the past five years. And the proof is on the screens right here. Look at all these flights. Hundreds headed out of DCA this morning and every single solitary one except for one are on time. How about that? Back to you guys. Well, that's some good news. All right. Joseph Olmo. Some good news. At yeah. the busy Reagan National Airport five days before Christmas. Thank you, Joseph. Hopefully that remains true for mm -hmm. a while. Fingers crossed.